not BBC's favorite day. BBC hit the death blow as stiff upper lip William took the peg out. Prince William may not forgive the BBC for huge claims made in their new documentary anytime soon and could leave them out in the cold for future projects, according to reports. According to a source, Prince William may turn off the BBC for good as a result of the backlash from the documentary. According to sources, Prince William may not forgive the BBC for making large claims in their new documentary anytime soon, and may keep them out of future initiatives. According to reports, a gap between the royal family and the BBC, which saw Prince William reportedly forbid the BBC from airing this year's Christmas broadcast carol service, is unlikely to repair anytime soon. A rift between the royal family and the BBC which saw Prince William reportedly ban them from showing this year's Christmas televised carol service may not heal anytime soon, sources have claimed. Rival Channel ITV have now been given the show instead, which is expected to have the Duchess of Cambridge on hosting duties. The move came after the BBC aired the first of two parts of The Princes and the Press on Monday. The Amol Rajan documentary has apparently left the royals raging after it sensationally claimed that William had briefed the press against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And now lingering bad feeling and the public broadcaster's refusal to apologize means the prince is seriously considering whether future projects should be offered to them. The source said, it's fair to say that while the response to what has happened is being driven by the Duke, there is complete unity among all three royal households. You really couldn't get a cigarette paper between them. There is a serious issue of integrity at stake here. It is also claimed that William's disapproval with the Bib had grown since details emerged earlier this year of the misconduct involved in Martin Bashir's 1995 Panorama interview with Diana, Princess of Wales. An investigation discovered that he had used mocked-up bank statements to secure the interview with the late Princess. The BBC has apologized for his use of the statements, but has insisted they played no part in her decision to take part in the interview. Responding to the growing controversy around this week's documentary, BBC chairman Richard Sharp said this week said that they approached relationships with the royal with great care and thought and had tremendous respect for the institution, but stood by the production team involved in the making of the show. Instead, rival station ITV has been handed the show, which is set to include the Duchess of Cambridge as the host. The decision was made after the first of two parts of the Princes and the Press broadcast on the BBC on Monday. The royals are reportedly enraged by the Amol Rajan documentary, which alleged that William had briefed the press against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, the prince is seriously evaluating whether future projects should be granted to them due to lingering bitter feelings and the public broadcaster's refusal to apologize. While the response to what has transpired is being driven by the Duke, there is perfect unity among all three royal households, the insider said. There was no way you could slide a cigarette paper between them. There's a major question of integrity at hand. It's also said that William's disdain of the BBC has risen after details of Martin Bashir's 1995 Panorama interview with Diana, Princess of Wales surfaced earlier this year. An investigation revealed that he had secured the interview with the late princess by using fictitious bank statements. The BBC has apologized for using the words, but insists they had no bearing on her decision to participate in the interview. In response to the mounting controversy surrounding this week's documentary, BBC chairman Richard Sharp said this week that the corporation approached relationships with the royal family with much care and consideration and tremendous respect, but defended the show's production team.
seriously considering whether future projects should be offered to them. The source said, it's fair to say that while the response to what has happened is being driven by the Duke, there is complete unity among all three royal households. You really couldn't get a cigarette paper between them. There is a serious issue of integrity at stake here. It is also claimed that William's disapproval with the Bib had grown since details emerged earlier this year of the misconduct involved in Martin Bashir's 1995 Panorama interview with Diana, Princess of Wales. An investigation discovered that he had used mocked-up bank statements to secure the interview with the late princess. The BBC has apologised for his use of the statements, but has insisted they played no part in her decision to take part.